This is Julie. She's 43. 44! <laughs> Dang it! How old am I? Uh, uh, this is Alyssa. She's exactly 20 years older than me, and I do not know how old I am, so I keep getting it wrong. I've done it multiple times today. This is Alyssa, and she's 24. Or you're lying, and I'm right. Wouldn't you rather accept 43? Yes. Okay, well then you shouldn't argue with me. I'm 43. And I'm 23. And this is Stitching at the Cabin. A little while ago, I was watching Stitch and Stuff, and if you don't watch them, you should. Mother, daughter, good, good boss too. Mm -hmm. But the daughter has daughters, and uh, she was bringing them in. She's like, this is, I think it was Rosie, this is Rosie, and she's seven. And I paused it, and I turned to Alyssa and said, wouldn't it be funny if, like, as adults, you were like, this is Jacob, he's my husband, he's 20... Light. The light <laughs> fell. He's 20... Four. Four? I mean, I don't know. Is that how old I am? But how odd if we introduced each other Adult. with the ages. Like, I like totally what get age it. did this stop? I totally get it with kids. I'm not judging them in any way. No, because no, I no. Think we it's just when did it stop? Do it. But yeah, why? At what age do you stop saying, this is my yeah. daughter, she's blah? Yeah. Do you think that light's going to be a problem? Nah, it's just it. It's oh, just what it is now. It's dark in here. Yeah. Oh well, hopefully you can see us. I could turn on that light up there, but then no, you, we don't you wouldn't blind. see anything. It's a super crazy we light. Blound. 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 I uh, brought my water bottle so I could refill it downstairs. You did a good job refilling it. Um, yep. So that's how much water I get for filming. So I chugged mine right before I came up here and set it on the counter, so it's... Away. Down there. So, we're starting with our... Whip Wednesday, right? <laughs> Today's Thursday, so let's go with the, Wednesday. the name my mom suggested. Whip share. I can't say it, so I will never say it. This is the Alyssa show. Whip share. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Drum roll as to what the wheel spun. Who the wheel spun. Are you going to stop drum rolling so I can say it? I mean, this isn't really making okay. sound. I can hear the TV downstairs much louder. Did she witch 42? Woo! That would be Audrey. Yes. Did she say we could say that, or did you just... She has <laughs> boss to, but she says, Hi, I'm Audrey. So I assume... And I say the name, like, every week. She and Kim are, like, regulars on here. I even, don't even say who Kim is. I'm like, Kim, Audrey. Yeah, that's what, that, that's what I thought that was funny. She... This would be a big shock. Is working oh. on <laughs> Stitchy Witch 42. No, that would be her name. She's stitching the Halloween Village Afghan. Not that I have to look at Stony Creek. From Stony Creek. She has hashtags. Okay, great. Was supposed to it was a second email, and I flagged them both. So. Okay. Uh, SC Halloween Village, because Stony Creek. Mm hmm. SC Christmas Village, which because is the one us. We're doing. Uh huh. And Voluptuous Stitching. Oh, I what's like that. that for? Because the, you're doing four over two, oh, so they're voluptuous. They are very voluptuous. So there's your whip share. If you would like to be in next week's whip share, go ahead and send us an email down below. I put it down at the top. I put it down. <laughs> put it down at the at top, the of, top the of the description. <laughs> Stitching at the cab. Ben at gmail.com. We're struggling now. Stitching at the cabin at gmail.com. Yes, it's down below. Send us a picture of your whip. Send us information on what you want us. To share? Send us a picture of what it should look like finished or a link to what, what it, should it should look, look like, like finished. And let us know if you have floss tube or anything else people want to know. And I'll put it all down below. Stitchy Witch 42 does have a floss tube. It is Stitchy Witch 42. Easy. It's down go. below. Done stamp. And as I said last week, I will leave you on my wheel. Well, not Audrey now. It's blacked out. But yeah, everybody else is still on the wheel. Spinny, spinny, yep. spinny, waiting for the next. As long as you've submitted, you are on a wheel. And you may be picked. Yeah. Okay, so we have whips. Yes. Apparently, you're going first because you're already pulling it out. I'm proud. Um, Alyssa has haul. You have two. Kinda. You have two hauls. 
Oh, oh yeah. I, think I scribble. It looked like you wrote Einstein keys, <laughs> and I just didn't know. Um, look at a spin. Jesus were. We've got the splotch, maybe two. Other. And I have a friend with a stitching question. She has a friend. Yeah, isn't that shocking? I have a friend. Um, I don't know if you have any other. I didn't ask you. Usually I do, but I didn't. You didn't ask, and I didn't look, so I'm going to say no unless I think of something. Well, you can look while I'm showing stuff because you know. I don't pay attention anyway. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Just joking. So. I am s- going first. I spun this right. Yes, because I corrected you in A again, didn't I? Maybe. No, I think you... S- was it the tree? Was it no, I think it was universe. We're going to go with She Spun Universe. I spun Universe last <laughs> week. And uh, so I worked on it. And um, I, oh, that's kind of part of, not really part of other, but I had to un snap it because the top of my project was so close to the top Q-snap that I was getting annoyed because it was a little diagonal. So as I kept going further down to oh, the project, geez. bless you. Maybe not. <laughs> You're better. <laughs> Thank you. Um, it gets diagonal, so as I was getting closer to the end, it was getting harder and harder to stitch mm. the top few rows because it was hitting the Q-snap. So I'm like, I'm undoing it. I'm redoing it. So I took a picture. Here's a picture of it out of the Q-snap, which doesn't it look amazing except for the line that's right down the center. Of it. I didn't get to see it. Yeah, I realized. I'll pull it up for you. You guys got to see it, and I didn't. <gasps> And now she's telling me I can't walk. Well, do you want to see pictures of Cody's outfit? Uh, oh, gosh. I, I didn't know where you were do. going with that. I don't want to see pictures of anyone's... Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> it's Hugh Hefner and a Playboy bunny. Oh, no. With our dogs. It's Halloween. Okay, no. but look at Lily. She's okay. wearing a raincoat oh, I didn't with even a red balloon. Lily, because I was blocking yeah, don't, the... don't look at that. But look, she's wearing the red coat, the raincoat, like, from It, and she had a red balloon. That is adorable. It was really freaking cute. But you can't put that on. Nope. <laughs> Sorry. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> Pausing. Pausing. <laughs> um, there it is. Wow, look that's how it. much you've done. Like, that's almost all of it. Yeah. That is, that is, that is literally, I am so close to being done wow. with the whole top. That is amazing. And actually, you can't see the line as great in the picture, but I'm sure you can see it. Oh, I see it. Yeah. yeah. So what you guys maybe can't see so well is that the, the, I, I don't know how I put the Q-snap on that one time, because it's nowhere else, but it must have mashed it really <clears throat> really hard <laughs> so the floss is all flat and kind of shiny right there you should zoom back in like you did and screenshot that and then well i can zoom in on edit, the thing edit it yeah in. <laughs> so you can see i don't that's know a really good picture like that yeah i don't know if, if anyone has done this to their project on accident before and has a suggestion it's like right in the center um I, no one would really notice from a distance but um if you have a suggestion on how to fix that let me know but anyways so i pulled it off the q-snap Took a picture, went to put it back on the Q-snap and realized literally this is the, the end of my fabric. I didn't realize how close I was to the edge. So I'm going to flip it around now. No more jabbering without looking at stuff. So I did almost, so almost, pretty. actually all of this I think I did. Because I don't think, I think I had a few stitches up here. You'll see in the before and after. I think there were only a few stitches up here. And so I basically did all of that. I don't even know how many stitches it was. It was like 200 Two. each day. So wow. I'm so if maybe. you can hear all those noises, my husband is home. And Oddly enough, they're testing lights that go behind the TV, so I don't know why the sound's so loud. I asked them, I said, does the sound have to be loud for you to see the light? And they both kind of laughed and said yes. And I don't. Men clearly work differently than women it's, do. It's, and to be clear, it's not one of those lights that like moves with the sound. It's... It moves with the picture on the screen, so it's... This was all against my better judgment, and yeah. well, I was not... Involved, really. No, I no. did not find out until after the fact yeah. that this was happening. Yeah. So. so anyways, this is the end of the fabric, and like it's hard to keep it taut on the Q-snap. See, there's like nothing. Yeah. Top. <laughs> there's nothing over here. This is it. This is it. And I think it's supposed to end like over here, maybe over here. I am so I excited. Know. You should just quit. Oh, wait. No, you shouldn't. So I quit the job and stitch, but then I realized you you work for me. Yeah. So 
It's I'm loving the way it looks. I love all these little thingies and the, mm-hmm. the red poopy thing. Mm-hmm. And, look at and all then, that blue. And then, this is kind of oh, othery, you know. but you got, what? You got, oh, hello, you friend. You got gotten. <laughs> hello, that's concerning. Where'd you come from? <laughs> I've heard. Maybe you um, cut one and it fell. Maybe. You know, that yeah, happens to yeah. me. Um, well, Randall Spangler, they just released some more on Hade on heaven and earth and i um really love one of them i think i took a a picture but i don't know that it has the name in it it's definitely a new one because i looked at it it again oh, actually showed it, it to me oh yeah it's called a reading time i really like it too I, do you see the little blue birdie that's oh, what i was talking I see. about I oh love and it's reading birdie. a book about yeah. little bird little bird stories i love that i this is like my favorite part right up there with the mm. acorn lights lights and the mm-hmm. turtle tails oh, oh yeah. my god i love it so incredibly much so much but like these these are like they're so big they take so long they take so much time and i really wanted to finish one before my kids were 18 right she's my 20. non-existent kids she's 24 three <laughs> she's 24 it's not like you don't have time to stitch more than one but if i wanted kids now i would only have 18 years to finish one of them okay. which like seems pretty doable seeing that i did like the f- whole front it took like two years to do the whole top row. No, it's about Just do the years. top See? row on, on that one, and then the top row on this one, and then your kids are equal, and then you just do a little... Yeah. Anyways, I love it. I still... Are you going to at least buy it? it? Are you going to wait till a sale and buy it? I don't know. I should probably wait for a sale. I think but... you should, because you're not going to start it, like, tomorrow. But I could. <laughs> but you're not but going to. But there's a little to. fairy... Do- oh. Oops. Oops. <laughs> what? It's, it's gone. I don't know. Here we go. Why are you taking pictures of envelopes and waiting? See? Look at a little fairy. Oh, a little fairy in the corner. Oh, my God. It would be so much fun to work on this. So, please, will somebody else do it for me? No. Uh, you have to do it yourself. No, no. I'm like, give it to me, but do it, and I'll just no, live through you. I have a problem giving it to you. I'm, oh, you don't I'm have a problem not, giving no. it to me? <laughs> I'm okay, not great. giving it to you. You stitch it. <laughs> no. And then give it to me. And you no. also owe Eldar to me. You said you'd give me Eldar, so. You can... Can I have a pattern? No. <laughs> no. The I have finished, finished project. I've diamond painting and I've been stitching, not diamond painting. Just, I'm just Do I get you. to show Keto? Well, I feel like I should also just. Okay. <laughs> Keto! You forgot to remind me to take a picture and you're a horrible person for not Yeah, I'm, me. I'm a little person. Okay, Keto! Keto! Look, I'm making so much progress. I'm going down, down. And like, I've and a just ring of fire. Gotten... And a ring of fire. I just got down to like the other side of that tiara thing. Like I just started. Just you're all excited. The time change kind of helps because like I woke up at four this morning. Oh dear. Granted, Lord. I was looking at fibroid stuff. That's my other. I talked to the doctor. Uh, uh. I'll wait till the very end for that. So those of you that don't want to know, don't stick around. But if you do want to know the continuing saga, stick out to the end. Stick out. Stick out to the end. <laughs> Anyway, I don't know what I was saying, but the tiara is showing up, and I was... Yeah, you said you're just getting there, and the time gonna... change helped. Oh, because oh, the time change helps, I got it full, but then I spent like an hour, hour and a half looking at fibroid stuff, and then then I stitched. <laughs> so, I only did like 200 stitches this morning, and I could have done oh so many more had I not fibroided. But there's a lot to research. Wow. There's a lot. That's a lot of plugged threads, and I'm sorry for that anyone that lot. gets stressed out by that, but I promise they are much more organized than they look. I promise. We get tangles, but not from that. <laughs> no, I don't ever spend time, like, Mm-mm. I mean, if I pull a little and it doesn't, like, come up, and it's not something that's quick to fix, then I just unthread it and re-thread it, but that's not even... That doesn't happen very often. I agree. I like it when you tug on it a little bit, and you're like, okay, that feels right, and then you pull and just whoomp, yep. right up. You're like, wow, whoomp. I didn't expect that, even though it happens, like, yeah, every time. Well, sometimes I have to unhook it from the needle minder. If it's a particularly strong mm-hmm. needle minder, just pull that one up, yeah. and then whoomp. Yeah. But whoomp it. Whatever. Yeah. You want to see a shower line? Too bad. You're going to see it. Okay. 
This is my Charlene. With I've no been mistakes. Working on no, I fixed it. I know. I've been That's working. why I said no mistakes. <laughs> I love these little bluey purpley flowers. It's uh, Gloriana Delphinium. It's a color. It's mm -hmm. 085. I love those flowers. I'm excited that in every single corner because I love those flowers. Oh, I need to snag nab at that. Don't yeah. look at that part. Mm -hmm. Take a picture of my oh. thumb <laughs> over the thing. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I gotta take a full pic too. Oh, okay. Was my thumb not over the thing then? <laughs> Probably not. I just look how look at those blue flowers. Those, like, those kind blue of flowers are really beautiful? pretty. Yes. Beautiful because it was like full of dots of like teal, yeah. and then you flower it around. Them. I love that so much. <laughs> I love it. But in order to do the black, I hadn't gone full enough all the way, so I went to back stitch Shh. around the pots. Slow down. What did you okay. say? I needed to back stitch around the pots, uh -huh. the black, but I hadn't done the black out here. Oh. Enough. So I had to do it, so I was like, well, I'll just keep going because it goes all the way around. And then same thing on that side, I had that. So I had to I had to do all that before I could do my pots. Gotcha. And then I did my flowers. Looks good. I want to work on it all the time. Yeah. I wish I didn't have to work. If we could afford for me to not work, I would not work. You so would I just could build chatelaines? I would build chatelaines. I love my chatelaines so much. You all need to stitch chatelaines. I don't care how intimidating you think it is. It's not. Do it. Do it now. I'm waiting. Are you doing it? You doing it? I love my Charlene. Love it, love it, love it. I have two more in the temperature tree. Okay, do your two more. All right, I'm gonna go with the little one. I didn't do much on Jingle My Bells, but I did a little bit. Jingle My Bells. <laughs> you probably we can can't hear the jingle, but, but not you. I was obviously working on white. Yes, I see this. But like I filled in a couple of little, little snowflakes. I didn't that. tell you, but I did what you did, where you where I didn't cross one of my X's. Oh, it's not fresh. Yeah, because I I, I I um when I have a paper pattern and I it's a kind of a complicated area, I go over once, you know, and then I um don't go do the other leg yet until I mark it, because then I need to see where I last stitched in order to reference where I need to go next. Yeah. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll just stop here and restart over oh, here. No. So I immediately flipped it over, and and then later I was like, oh, I, I, didn't, no. I didn't do the, no, the other no. leg. No, no, my bells. I like this, too, a lot. Um, someone suggested washi tape on the edges, which I think is an excellent idea, but I don't yeah. actually know where my washi tape is, oh. and I figured by the time I find it, I I'll be done. I have so much washi tape. <laughs> yeah, because of the Michael's yeah. grab bag. I have like 75 rolls, I think, of washi <laughs> tape is what was in that bag, so if anyone lives in SoCal and needs washi tape, Stitching I got the cabin you. at gmail.com. Yeah, please let me know. Granted, I will probably be the one that sees the email because I don't think you ever really check the email. But no, I'm sorry. I don't. That's what I'm here She does editing. I do the the public relations. Sure. <laughs> there you go. That's a, nice, that's a nice phrase for it. Public relations. Okay, so I know what I spun. <laughs> sure, I spun you do. Plum. Which Shades you? of plum. Second week in a row, yes. right? Yes. Yes, it was. Shades of a plum, we won't look at that. <laughs> Shut up. I have a thing that has a knot in it, a strand. It's like two strands stuck together and I can't separate them and I don't want to cut them. So I just stuffed it in there and I was like, if I need the floss by the time <laughs> I get to the end, I'll unstick it. <laughs> I understand uh, that. Those are expressions needlework. Shades of plum. And this is on Ren. Mm. Picture this plus Ren, I believe. I actually put the taggy thingy on here so I would know, mm. but I don't know what page it's on. It's on now. It's on page one, but I don't know what page one is. There it is. There it is. I can't read it. It's in a peepee -pee clip. Peepee. Peepee clip. You're not even paying attention. Well, because Twenty eight cents a picture. 28 count Ren. Lugana. I okay. just don't understand. Okay. Well, she plays. Oh, did he send it to me too? He did. So what is that? Whole, I don't know. <laughs> what is he it's literally a ball and chain. Oh, is he Are trying to you be funny? calling me a ball and chain? <laughs> okay. He sent it to the whole family chat. I hope he doesn't say anything inappropriate. <laughs> he will. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I don't. I, I'm trying to like fold this in a way you can see it, oh. but it's just not gonna work. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> yeah. How big is this fabric? Like, um, actually, how big is the fabric? I assume it's a half. It's big. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Isn't it pretty? 
Yes, it is pretty. I, I'm I'm show you that. I'm trying to see how big you... my project will be. Well, the whole thing is yay big. Yeah. Uh, yeah yay. I, yep. Yep. I, I, it I might. See. That thing might tell me the the size. I don't here, know. Here, but let me let me flump. So okay. I did more of this. I did those. I did more of the downy thing. I went across and I did the rest of this and that and filled in a little bit here and there. I love it. I do love it. I mean, I don't want the wheel to spin it again this week because three weeks in a row, you know, I would still do it and I would enjoy it. But I'm just saying, I like variety, so I'm kind of hoping for the new start so I can have a little more variety, even though it'll take me longer to finish everything. But, but yeah, yeah. I really, really, really like that one. Um, let me see if it tells on this what size that was. That was uh, 26 by 35. Yeah, so very similar too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's big. Yeah, dang. Yeah. Well, I don't need the whole thing. I think it's maybe I want to say eighteen by eighteen that I need mm -hmm. plus the side inches. Yeah. So yeah, a lot of that will not be used. But right. But Ren is pretty. Uh -huh. like Ren. I couldn't remember if it was Ren or sand. They're very my, similar. Language of the flowers is on sand, and this is Ren. And when I start my Teresa Wentzler floral bell pole, that's a mouthful, that will be sand as well. <laughs> Jemima, are we going to start that? <laughs> I'm guessing she hasn't even downloaded it yet because it was that thing that wasn't the PDF, but it pretended oh, to be the PDF. yeah, yeah, yeah. You ready for the tempe, tempe trees? I thought you had, oh, I guess it was two. Yeah, that was two. Two. I also worked a crap ton on my tree to get branches in. I finished my branches. I am almost done with my branches. But my trunk's done completely. Yeah, my trunk's not done completely. But yours might be more updated than mine. I have, oh, I need to check the weather today. I don't know if I checked it yesterday. <gasps> I might be behind on my weather. Oh no. But mine, mine's there for a week, so okay, it's okay. okay. You ready? <laughs> yeah. Fawm, boop. I finished. The November branch and then updated until yesterday and I did most of the December branch. There's like maybe six stitches that go on this branch that I ran out of floss for because I got a knot and had to cut that much off and I could have played floss chicken to get to the end had I still had that amount but I don't. So. And then the bottom of your trunk. Yep and then all of Otherwise your tree would go this. Ooh, yeah exactly. But look, it got warm again, so this is the green blue, this is the cold, and then it started getting a little warmer. But like, not warm warm, just okay. warm. Mine got... Ah. Mine was hot, then it got cooler, then it got cold, then it got less cold. Yeah. It got warm again. It's supposed to snow this weekend. It's supposed to rain here! Yes, at the cabin. So the it's cabin. supposed to snow. It's been in like the 60s, and then Saturday? It, the high is supposed to be 39. Sunday, so the high awesome. is supposed to be 36. That's Fahrenheit, not Celsius. That is so awesome. Yeah. I'm but excited. we're supposed to be doing work on the cabin, like on the outside and the inside. So it's insulating and shingling and... <sighs> can't do that in the snow. Snow. Um, I don't even know if I want to spin this week. Should I spin? Well, you have to do haul first anyway, and you're the one with the haul. Like, well, I bought I'm stuff already that's not already going here. to spin, so I think we should do spin first. I bought one, two, three stitch, it's not here, and somebody told me about a fabric for pandemic from be, 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 be stitched me, and so I had to buy that too. But I don't know if it's going to be here in time, so worst case, I'm going to um, hand dye something. I did buy from one, two, three stitch, just a plain. Mm. Yeah. So. Oh, and I bought something Beep. else too because of Carla being crafty. Yes. But it's not here yet. <laughs> Nothing's here yet. But if Carla, if you're watching, I blame you in a nice way. Would you like to hit the button now? Oh, yours? Yeah. I thought you weren't going to spin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to do it just for funnies, but honestly, I think I might just stitch from the heart. I don't okay. know. I just want to know what the world wants Boopy. me to do. Boopy. See, now I can feel guilt-free about stitching on that. You can say the name of it. Universe in a jar. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. I got a pull. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, oh. Beep. No. 
Be pa. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> Not plum. I want a new toilet. It's on here. I know it's on here, but you're not gonna get that. Tapestry would be good. Language of the Flowers is pretty. It was so close. Do you want a respin? I think so. You got a lot of acorn a few weeks ago. I did, and because we're looking at the cabin, I need there's certain things I can't work on this weekend. So this is like the one week where I need it to be a little bit more appropriate. Like I can't take Afghan, I can't take Castle. Yes, but this is little. Yeah, but it doesn't fit on the Q-snap, so it hangs off a little bit, so it makes it a little, because the fabric's too thin, too well, narrow. some weird excuses it's here. It's too narrow, so when I hook it on, it flops in the breeze, and I just don't think I can handle that this weekend. Okay. <laughs> you could have just said no, because your excuse <laughs> just sounds like a lie. <laughs> but okay. <laughs> I'm going to be saying no a lot. <laughs> what an excuse for this? Huh? <laughs> What's the excuse? Because I need to be there four days and I don't want to work on it. Yeah, I'll take moose. Third I'll, time's a charm. I'll take third time's I'll a charm. Take moose. Third time's the charm. I'll take moose. No, I'll take moose because that's on a um. <laughs> that's on a scroll frame. <laughs> Would you like to discuss the haul now? Gosh, kinda. It's like kinda complicated. Well, you have two. The one you actually it's also have also kinda and the one complicated. The uh, I I Do I you have want the picture um, that I sent you that's blurry of it on the counter. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. No. Okay. Um, but what's the stand called? Because I'm Lowry? blanking. Yes, thank you. I got. I have a Lowry stand at home. Like this. <laughs> Back there. This this wonderful contraption y thing. Um, and I use it for universe in a jar. Um, but the way my sofa is, I have to stitch like this because it doesn't st stick out far enough. So I'm stitching like this, and then it hurts my back and my neck and stuff. So I finally had Dad make me an extender because he made her an extender. Um, and but mine's at the cabin. Yeah. On my stand there. So he made me an extender, which, which is very nice. I want. He asked me yesterday. Yeah, scale mine's one to 2.0. 10. Prototype 2.0. Yeah. So on a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you want that? And I said, 10? <laughs> He's like, but I have to use a lathe. And I was like, okay. And you're like, I don't care. Just make it happen. <laughs> you did it for Alyssa it in one night. So Yeah, it was pretty awesome. Uh, so I used it last night. That's how I got in a feed and like another 100 stitches on my universe in a jar. Um, it's much better now. Now I can sit like a normal human being. So, get yourself a dad Husband. that can make one. Um, and then secondly, she was talking about starting Pandemic. And then I was thinking, I kind of want to start Pandemic by Long Dog. And, um, so I started looking at fabrics that I like. And then that led to me liking, um... The, mm, uh, the, no, the Phantom. Phantom. Is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. um, From Picture This Plus? Yep. And that was sold out everywhere. And then I found um, another fabric called the Huntress. Picture which, This Plus. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I liked it more, and I was like, you know what? Fine. I'll just eat it. I'll, I'll order it from... <laughs> <laughs> eat it. <laughs> you order it from Rogue Stitchery. And I know the lead time is going to be like five months. And I don't need to start anything now. It's fine. So I ordered that. And then I ordered um, just looking at colors and fabric viewer and like my, color wheels and stuff. My shades of palm, you liked the how the dinky dye. Yes. I love the way the dinky dye um, variegation flowed and I really liked the solid color that it came with. I liked the way they did that. So she had the idea of just going through all of the shades of and seeing if there's a color scheme that I like. And so I liked the shades of gold and looking at it on Fabric Viewer, which I know isn't going to be <coughs> quite accurate, it looks pretty cool. So I ordered one of each of those colors that comes in shade of gold. Um, I don't remember what they are. It's cobalt and 
I don't think Aussie gold. Cobalt would be blue. Yeah, you're right. But it's something that starts with a C, and it's a very similar number of letters. Yeah, I kept thinking you were saying copper, but you weren't. It was. So, I yeah. don't know what it was. Yeah. Whatever. And Aussie gold, I think. Um, I think it's like 032 and But then something. I suggested that the darker color the cobalt and shades one. of <laughs> gold <laughs> maybe wouldn't look quite good on Huntress, so she picked another one as well. Oh, yeah. I forgot that. about that. I so did. So three. Yeah. It's like... <laughs> Aussie sunrise or something. <laughs> Anyways, so I ordered I ordered all of that, and so I got one of each just so we could try it, so I could throw it on, see if I liked it, and if not, then we can go on a thread search after I get the thing. And I wanted to do it on thirty six count, and I wanted to do it um, not on Lugana because the Huntress is really dark, and I wanted it to be as dark as possible. And I hear that Lugana dies lighter. Um, what genius told you that? I don't know. I think I just heard it. Oh. Birds. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I ordered it two days ago. Then I get a call today on my way to work, and it was a wonderful lady from Rogue Stitchery. Stitching. Stitching. I know. But I was thinking what her name was. She said it like four times, and I forgot it each time. Like, maybe it's Deborah? Mm -hmm. Dorothy? <laughs> no, 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 there's nothing wrong with that, but I was thinking Brandy, Brenda, and then you said Dorothy, and I was like, <laughs> I'm really sorry. You were very friendly. She sent you a text. Oh, no, her text. name, though. Yeah, so she called, and she's like, oh, do you know that the Huntress is going to take 22 weeks? <laughs> 22. 22 weeks. I said, <laughs> I said, yeah, I mean... Like, actually, no, on the website it said 18 weeks, but, like, at this, once you get past, like, six weeks, does it really matter? However many weeks. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I know, it's fine. She's like, okay, because, like, there's some other options we can do, and we went through some options. She had, actually, a piece of the Huntress, that was 32 count, Lugana. in stock. Lugana. And so I was concerned about the dye, and so she actually sent me a picture, which was really nice. Here's the picture. This is kind of what it'll look like, except hopefully it'll look a little darker, because... That was Lugana. But anyways, um, what we ended up calling each other like four times. But in one of these calls, she mentioned that they just got a printer to do printed fabrics. They haven't even built it yet. They are installing it this weekend. And she said if I would like to have like the Huntress printed on 36 count fabric, they would do it and I would be the first customer. And I have to say, I like being the first. <laughs> I'm a little jealous, to be honest. They're going to trial run my fabric through their machine. So she said, yeah, you know, let me, I know his name's Mike, because that's my dad's name. So that's why I remember his name. I'm sorry, Dorothy, Donna, Deborah, Brenda, lady. Um, she's like, let me get you in contact with Mike, and he'll give you a call. So he calls me later. We talk about it. He says yes. He says he actually has to kind of design it before it goes to the printer, but they're going to build the printer this weekend, and he'll, you know, test it, and he'll send me proofs and, like, whatever. And I said, yeah, and I said, you know, don't worry about doing it quickly because, like, I was going to wait five months for this other <laughs> fabric, so I'm in no rush. She's like, that's a good point. Okay, good, true, true. And I said, yeah, so, like, let's experiment together. So we are going to experiment together to... Need to call Jacob. To do their... <laughs> To do their, uh, to figure out their printing on fabric stuff. And I think it'll be really interesting because it's going to be so dark. So we'll see so, how it turns out. Stay tuned to Stitching at the Cabin because yeah. you will see the very first run of, I say Picture This Plus, but it's not Rogue Stitching Picture This Plus Huntress. Yes. The very first. The very first. first. Very first one through their printer. You will see it. My. Right here. Mm -hmm. On this channel. Yep. I'll this take you through the process. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see. He said he'll email me the proofs of what it'll look like. I, could, I guess he, it's not as simple as just uploading the picture. They have to, like, redesign it for the printer. So, mm. whatever. I have some fabric fur that's, you know, printed, so I let her fondle mm -hmm. it and decide whether or not she wanted to go to printing. I out. don't like the feeling of the fabric as much as hand-dyed fabric stuff. But... 22 weeks. <laughs> right. And it's, I get to be the first. <laughs> I don't know. It seems pretty cool. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. And then we'll see what happens when I get the floss. And we'll floss toss. And we'll 
chalice blotch. Oh, and oh. probably doesn't even make sense. You're probably like, why are there two colors for Pandemic? I want to do what Shades of Plum does, where it does a solid color and then the variegated color. And I know the pattern is all just one, but I'm going to eyeball it and I'm going to do like what your Shades of Plum did. A lot of people are doing Pandemic in multi-colors. You know? Are they? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yep. Not me yet. <laughs> Still yeah, you'll still, I'm sure you will start before I do, though. Uh, yeah, well, I bought from Picture This Plus in June, and it's still not here. I emailed them, and I haven't heard anything, but I've heard that's not uncommon. So, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Shower splotch! Shower splotch time! That means we're officially out of uh, stitchy stuff. Yeah. So, I took a picture of the whole shower this time. So oh, you good! Could see it. But it was, it, it was right after I got out of the shower last night. So, well, do you want to wait a minute? Because I'm going to send yeah. you the splotches, too. Yeah, I guess. Yes, I said splotches. <laughs> I, I will show you those. the one that I'm not sure we're going to not edit out <laughs> first. This is because I would say 90% of the people that responded saw a naughty horse. <laughs> that was not a foot. I, I thought was that was funny. told more than once that, that was not a foot. I just spit all over you. I apologize. That's all right. There is a splotch in my shower that is not a foot. I'm not going to go into any more detail than that. If you have small children, do not let them look at the screen if we leave this in. Are you going to show me that picture? I'm you going to show you Let's the picture. Let's start with the bad splot. I'm going to show you the picture, and you can decide whether or not we should show that. Do you see anything in that? Like, maybe... Honestly, it looks more like a footprint. Look, there's like a so, toe. It is a toe, foot. Toe, toe, toe. And then your foot. Oh, is that actually your foot that was like wet? No, that's oh. on the wall. <laughs> I don't know where it is. That's on the wall. We can see the, the tile. I mean, okay. After you point, I can see. Every time I take a shot, I'm washing my head, and it's a little bit to the You're left. You're just a naughty girl. I'm like, mm-hmm. There's a naughty thing looking at me. So... I mean, that's what I see every time I look at it. What do you see? <laughs> Don't tell us. <laughs> okay, show me the real splotch. Okay. Real splotch. <laughs> oh. Okay, we clearly do <laughs> not see the same thing. I need people to take a moment, take a moment, take a moment. Can I say something? Not what this is, but can I just say something? Sure. I realized, mm -hmm. as I was showering mm -hmm. multiple times this week, uh -huh. that pretty much everything I see is an animal of some sort. I would so agree. So this is not an animal to oh. me. So I purposely took a picture of something that wasn't an animal besides the one that you may or may not <laughs> just see. I didn't pause. Well, that's an animal. <laughs> this is not an animal to me. No, no. Say the other one. Oh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, that is a cat. Specifically Arthur. Hunter's cat. But, like, with missing eyeballs, like, if you had creepy eyeballs. Have you seen Arthur? Yeah. I don't think I have a picture. Yeah, But this I is have. the brown-gray, brown-gray. That's where its ears are, but it's, like, kind of tucked back a little bit. There's its eyes, its little nose, and its little mouth with a little chin. And that's its neck. I do not see that. <laughs> At all? Really? I mean, I can sort of see it now that you point it out, but I definitely don't see a cat. How big is this splotch? Like, how big are these tiles? The tiles, I bet they're like a foot by a foot, like the foot square. Okay. The ones on the floor are little. They're little tight, so I don't know that you'll ever see anything from them. Well, there was one. You just that haven't I gotten close show. enough yet to notice the little ones. I did notice one. I don't think it was last night. I think it was Monday night, I think. I noticed. Uh, okay, so what do you see? Okay, I see the eyes. Mm -hmm. This is like you said a, this is an animal. It's not. This is like a skeleton woman face, very pale, mm -hmm. and then those hair, sort of like Kim ah! on Stitch and stuff. <laughs> oh. Is that like a bob? <laughs> yeah. Very similar hair yeah. to that. So now you have to watch Stitch and stuff to see Kim's hair. Okay, yeah, that's less happy. But I yeah, see it's, why it's you took such like a big a, picture. It's like a skeleton ghosty, yeah. and she's sort of looking down, and yeah. then you see hair. Okay, I see it. I see it. So in the, the like mine more. future, assuming that you all want to still see, you all those, are participating. Um, so far, it's a very good. People seem to like it. Um, 
I will try not to make it all animals, but really, that's mostly what I see. I mean, that's I what see. you see, but that yeah. doesn't mean that's what everyone has to see. True, but I, I'll try to mix it up so that every time we do this, it's not, I see a chicken, <laughs> you know? So I think it should be interesting, because I think those are a little more obscure. Well, okay, maybe not one of them, although apparently, because you saw a footprint. <laughs> I immediately saw a footprint. I mean, I don't, I don't know. So you think it's okay to leave that in there? We don't have to edit sure. out all of me it's, trying not to say Maybe it. if you had outlined it in like a white Sharpie, that would be a problem. No, I'm curious. Did you see the, the I mean, thing? I'm sure I they could saw, see it. Or did you see a footprint? Or did you see nothing? I told you not all the splotches were white. That's, That's that was one That's that to me a, is not white. Well, no, it's not white. <laughs> but I mean, to me, I see something. <laughs> yeah, and that lady's hair isn't white either. No, so no. Interesting. Yeah. I feel like I need to go in your shower at some point. Yeah. And take a picture. Well, even if one. you don't want to go in the shower, you could use the bathtub or one yeah. of the vanities. Well, I mean, I mean your shower is not scary. No, I'm saying you could, but like it's sometimes like it's murdered. wet, like because like he'll take a shower and then like I go to take a picture and I'm like, oh, I don't want to go into the wet shower because like I got socks on or whatever, so I have to wait for it to dry. So that She's picture of the whole shower, shower was wet because I just got out. I didn't have clothes on and I had the light on in the bathroom and I had the blinds were open and I'm like standing and taking a picture of the shower and thinking there's people like on the street below looking at him. What are you doing? <laughs> um, you're so odd. Okay, so I do odd. have a quick stitchy question which I should have asked when it was still oh in the stitchy gosh. thing. We're a mess. Um, sorry, I have a friend. Mary. Yeah, sorry Millie. <laughs> I have a friend who just recently decided she wanted to take a stab, literally, nah. at stitching. <laughs> and so she bought a, sort of like a mill hill, but it's, there's no beads, but like a perforated paper thing. And she really, really likes it, which I'm super stoked about because we need to addict as many people as we can mm -hmm. with this mm -hmm. hobby. So she's itching to start a new project after, to like buy something to have it ready. And she, like us, seems to be attracted to large projects, which I still it's think easy. is awesome, but it's hard when you go from perforated paper do. to, say, linen. Yeah. You know, 40 count linen might be an issue. Right. So I told her to look around and stuff, and she found a Riolis kit that she really likes. It's like autumn colors, something like that. Mm -hmm. But anyway, the issue is it is wool. It's uh, 10 count Ada. And it's wool, I wouldn't call it floss, but it's not, it's not really thread. It's wool slash acrylic yarnish, but it's 10 count, which, and it's on a pre-printed background thing. And so it's, it's X stitch, it's not needlepoint, although some of it is just the half stitch, but most of it is cross stitch. Has anyone done that? And does it look okay when you do? She's having trouble finding something like that's not massive. Like the first thing I think she sent me was a mirabilia. <laughs> I was like, okay, I love the mirabilia as much mm -hmm. as you do. I almost bought that one. Mm -hmm. However, you've only stitched on like a perforated paper kind of thing, and she would be more comfortable with Ada. And I don't think she should do a mirabilia on Ada. Mm -hmm. So I was like, hmm, maybe put that in your wish list. You should buy that, but. Stepping stones. Let's yeah. do, let's Stepping do stones. something on Ada. And I don't think she's going to want to do something massive on Ada because she, if she really loves this other thing, she's going to be like, okay, I can do this and then want to go to that. So yep. don't buy something massive, mm -hmm. you know? So if anyone knows mm -hmm. about that Riolis um, or any wool slash acrylic Riolis, please let me know. Um, and if you have any suggestions, I know it's hard to suggest for somebody else. I've been trying because... You know, I don't know what her aesthetic is. Mm -hmm. I like the stuff that she sent me, but you know, like one of them was on a dark color, and I don't think she should start with you know navy mm -hmm. fabric. I, I just think that would be tough. I think she could do it, but yeah, I don't want to scare her away. Yeah, so. absolutely. And she's watching, and she's like, "Stop talking about me like I'm not there." <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, there's that. Okay. Do you have anything else? Because no, I'm I just talk about the fibroids. Lily laid on my chest one day, and it was really sweet, but. And she's starting to bark more, which I do not. That's not sweet. I do not enjoy, but we're training her. Kevin's new cage is supposed to come at 9 o'clock tonight. Woo! So he'll have one at the cabin and one at the house, and that way he can go to the cabin this weekend. All the birds are going this weekend, mm -hmm. and uh, the dog as well. So don't worry, we still have security, so don't try to rob us. Um, because I know that's what you planned. That's exactly what you thought when I said that. Absolutely. Especially because she doesn't upload this until <laughs> who knows when. 
<laughs> okay, so if you don't care about fibroids, um, Goodbye. thanks for watching, and we'll see you maybe next week, maybe two weeks. She tried to get out of this one, so I'm not sure how this Listen, is going to go. Listen, you never know if it's going to be one or two weeks. Just remember that. Yeah, she says that, but that's not a good excuse. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I, know I want to see you every week, and I have lots to talk about. She does. 1.5 speed. I guess. Five grades. Um, if you were not here previously, you did not know for some reason, I was diagnosed with uh, one fibroid that's two centimeters and then a multitude of little buggers that they don't bother to measure because there's just a plethora of them and they're not massive. So, well, two isn't massive either. Right. And my uterus is not like overly enlarged. It's, I think it's seven centimeters, which is yeah. pretty normal. So, so it's still kind of small. It's interesting. Yeah. Hey Siri, seven centimeters to inches. Seven centimeters is two point seven six inches. So like almost three inches. Apparently, it's equivalent to a nine-week pregnancy. If that helps. Whoa, that's still pretty big. Yeah, and that's one of them. So when you yeah. add up, but you do one, you do. But this doctor told me it's at the top. The other doctor didn't tell me what it was. This one, it's at the top, the top of the uterus. So I had gone to see a gynecologist before. I don't have one, so they just assigned me to one the soonest I could get in. And the guy was horrible. He made me feel terrible. Like, why are you here? You suck. Just <laughs> deal with it. I don't even see know like why you're complaining. Three episodes ago, ish. Yeah, it, it was. Time to stop this. Please hold. Okay, so I saw the horrible doctor that, um, I mean, he's probably really good with, like, OB patients, but for actual gynecological having sympathy about periods, not so much. There might be some TMI in this. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> it's not TMI to me. <laughs> <laughs> so the symptoms, I was having crazy heavy bleeding. I've always had heavy bleeding, but now it's insanely heavy for, like, the last eight or nine months. And... Um, my iron's low, although I take iron every day, so it's not, like, I'm not anemic low. I'm just, I can't, like, store it up <laughs> well low because I'm taking iron all the time and I get a ton of headaches and I'm always tired and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> So, uh, y'all convinced me I should get a second opinion, which I cannot thank you enough for. I had a phone consultation with a very compassionate, very caring, sympathetic, absolutely amazing woman. We were on the phone for like an hour, it's I think. 45 minutes. I couldn't believe she talked to me that long. And she didn't act like, you know, I gotta go, I gotta go. No. And she had a sense of humor. And she wrote everything down, she did. updated everything. She was very nice. So the interesting thing was the male gynecologist, he had told me I could take some sort of acid. If that sounds bad. <laughs> Yeah, acid. Man. No, he. It was like transdermic acid, which I think is called lysteta, for people who can't say transdermic acid. Um, or I could get an IUD, or I could get an ablation, and eh, hysterectomy. But he thought I should do nothing. So, um, she said that I my fibroid was on the top, which was interesting. Mm -hmm. She said I could. I don't even think she ever said I could do nothing. No. I don't even think that was ever discussed. No, it she was, said, take some time to think about what you yeah. want and let me know. She, and she kept saying, I'm so sorry you're going through this, which was, like, totally nice. That's all you wanted to hear. Exactly. So she said I could do an IUD, I could do an ablation, I could do an embolization, or I could have a hysterectomy. So I asked her about the acid. Because <laughs> she acid. didn't even mention partying, I mean, taking acid. <laughs> I asked her about the psychedelic drug. No. I asked her about that trans acid, and I can't wait to see the <laughs> closed captioning on this. I apologize, hello to peeling people. Hello <laughs> people watching this with pellets in the room. I have closed captioning. <laughs> it's even worse when we talk over each other and you do it. Uh, so I asked her about that, and she said, that, that sounds like a good idea. And I said, well, are there any issues with my... Um, History of... History, family right. history and medical history. Sure. And she's like, oh, you know, that's a really good question. She actually took the time right there on the spot to look it up. And then she read about it and she's like, yeah, nope, you can't take that. So there's no drug I can take at all. I can't take anything with estrogen. I can't take... NSAIDs aren't thing. good. Yeah, anything with clotting stuff, blood issues. No, no, not for me. So that leaves something invasive. So I'm... 
heavily opposed to the IUD, from what I've researched, that would be Milena. Um, the ablation seems to have a horrible track record. That's where they burn the inside of your uterus, and then it scurs it all up, and it's supposed to stop the bleeding. But I have really read some awful stuff about that, and I've talked to a couple of women who have had it, and one had it and it failed, and then she said she did it again and it worked. The other one was just like, nope, don't do it, don't do it. Um, so I'm pretty much, I don't think I want to do that, especially because now I'm finding that they're starting to say if you have fibroids, you shouldn't do that because they can't get like right up into the the surface of the uterus. Like it leaves a little pocket thing and then you get blood back there. And they also, and so then that gets like infected and you can get sepsis and die. That's <laughs> not good. And also uh, when they scroll the inside like that, they can't detect cancer anymore. There's no test that they can do to detect cancer if you might have it. So the mm -hmm. only way they can tell is to take out your uterus and then test it, you know, pathology. That doesn't sound appealing. And it seems to reverse itself rather quickly and cause an extreme amount of pain and cramping and discharge and even still some heavy bleeding. So I'm gonna say no on that. The embolization is the only one I really, I think, seriously considered. And that's what I'm researching like every morning. I dare you to find real life stuff on mm -hmm. embolization. It is so hard to find. And I don't think it's because it's new, because it doesn't seem to be new. The problem mm -hmm. is just, it's all like doctors and hospitals that put out the information, not like actual people. Mm -hmm. But I have found a place, and I've been researching a whole lot. And one of the big issues with that is that people gain 20 to 30 pounds and mm -hmm. cannot lose it. There was like one woman who ran like Iron Man stuff, and she never had any weight issues ever, and she's gained like 30 pounds, and there's nothing that she can That's do. So and weird. she's gone back to the doctor, and they're like, yeah, we don't know why. And uh, they gave mm. her some kind of drug that was supposed to help, and it didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. And uh, it seems to be really mm -hmm. common for that, yeah, which for sure. I know emotionally that would kind of mess me up a little yeah. bit. Like, I don't mean to be vain, but I've been this size all yeah. my life, mm -hmm. and just gaining like the six pounds I gained this year, I'm like all, all stressed about it, right. like obsessing some. So yeah, I know I don't want to go through that, but it also, that's where they inject little microspheres. They go through a vein in either your leg or your arm, and they inject these little particles, and it blocks the blood vessels or the arteries or whatever, and then the fibroids die, and I guess sometimes they fall out, but apparently there's this awful discharge that smells horrific and it can be months before it goes away. And then you have to pass that fibroid through the cervix. So women who've had kids have a better chance of getting it out. But women that have it, I guess they don't, they have trouble, like the cervix just doesn't open. So they really struggle and sometimes have to have surgical intervention. And if it just dies and doesn't come out, that's fine. It gets reabsorbed, but you have to make sure it actually does. And it's still, you have the bleeding and the discharge and the smell and, and you get fevers and, and it just, it sounds awful. And I guess the pain, people say that's the worst pain they've ever felt worse in childbirth, worse than like, cause I have read women who had the ablation, had the embolization and then had a hysterectomy and that pain after was the worst from the embolization. So I don't think I want to go that route. And I, it's well, weird when we talk about medical stuff, like abstractly, it's like, wow, medical science has gone so far and we can fix anything and it's amazing. But then you like look into any procedure and it's like, is this medieval times? <laughs> this is horrific. It's like pump you full of air and like cut things and hope it like, sews itself back to like what is this it's terrifying i hate it yeah. i hate hearing i just I, I hate it i guess they say those little microspheres don't hurt you but i can't imagine I, that one wouldn't escape at some point and exactly. want something else yes. and i've actually heard it causes problems for some women it it blocks off some of the ovary blood so even though it may not kill the ovary, it has a good chance of putting you into menopause early and i can't lose my ovaries because i can't take hormones so that seems risky among all the other issues. And it's only good for five years. I guess after five years, you kind of have to do it again. So while some women are like, yeah, this is the best thing ever. I'm like, oh, I got probably, according to the doctor, I probably have at least 10 years, or about 10 years before I hit menopause. So, I don't know. So anyway, when I was talking to her, I told her, you know, I mean, I appreciate all the options and everything, but I'm kind of thinking hysterectomy sounds like the way to go. And she was really nice about it. Alyssa listened to the whole thing. Um, she said basically that 
One of the qualifications for hysterectomy being ne medically necessary is that your uterus is larger than 12 centimeters, and mine's not, so I'm not, I'm disqualified for that. The other one is, well, besides if you have cancer or abnormal, you know, we're just talking fibroids. The other one is if you're anemic, which I'm not, but it's because I take iron. So she said it wouldn't be a problem for her to like push it through for me, like with insurance and all that, because mm -hmm. she would just explain that it's a quality of life thing. And the only reason my iron is as good as it is, is because I take iron. So she's okay with me doing it. She said it would be super easy because the and she enjoys surgery. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, this would be a super easy way. It would almost be fun to like do it on me because I don't have big honking issues with massive fibroids. So she's willing to do it. She was willing to, to not do it the, right there on the spot, but to put in the request for it. It would be two to three months for it to be like approved and set up and before I could have surgery. But I opted not to say yes right there on the spot, despite Alyssa being like, do it, do it. <laughs> My son's like, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. <laughs> Mainly because of twofold for me. Mm -hmm. One, COVID. I'm a big chicken, and I don't want to be alone in the hospital. It's not COVID itself that I have a problem with. Yeah. I want my husband there. You don't want restrictions on who can see exactly. you. Exactly. I don't want to be alone. I don't, and... don't want to be alone. Like, I like being alone if I'm stitching, but I don't want to yeah. be alone in the hospital. I was there for him when he had neck surgery and, and it feels better when somebody's there and someone can advocate for you because like, he didn't understand the pain chart. He couldn't see well <laughs> enough to see oh the my pictures. Gosh. I think that is the funniest thing still. They're like asking him, you know, how much pain are you in? You know, are you okay? He's like, yeah, it's like a four. And they're like, okay. And they're like later we're like, you know, have you seen the chart thing? Like, are we sure that we're on? Because he's like, doesn't seem like he's, yeah, he seems, seems like he's in pain. He's like, oh yeah, let me see that. So we brought it closer to him. He's I like, think he took a picture. Oh, I took a picture. Yeah, and brought it closer. I'm like, look at the smiley faces. Which smiley face are you? He's like, oh, I'm like this one. We're like, that's like an eight. Yeah, Wasn't yeah. it like an eight? We're like, that's like an eight. You need to tell the nurse it's an eight. Yeah, so next time he came in, he's like, I'm an eight. And she's like, oh, you get some pain meds. I know you're supposed to stay ahead of the pain by taking the pain meds yeah. early, but yeah. he couldn't see that far to see the picture. It was on the wall. It's and this the is why you need family with exactly. you at the hospital. He would have been saying full the whole time. It was really like a 12. <laughs> so anyway. Oh, I love him. So mm -hmm. that's why I kind of want to wait. But here's the big issue for me. As somebody put it on the fibroid thing I was reading mm -hmm. the, the other morning, I saw it. She said... I don't have large fibroids, and even though I have a lot of bleeding issues and quality of life isn't that great, I feel like having a hysterectomy is like cracking a nut with a sledgehammer. Like, it's a little extreme for, you know, right. the situation. And had the doctor said to me, mm, you know, I recommend you get a hysterectomy, mm -hmm. I would have scheduled it right there, right. minus the COVID thing. Right, 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 right. <laughs> but because she's like... You don't medically really need it. It's a quality of life, and I'm willing to do it for you. But you have these other options. Now I'm like, I can't make a decision. I'm I'm stuck. Mm -hmm. I like I need people to talk to me. Like, mm -hmm. have you had a hysterectomy? I'm not saying some of you I have talked to. You don't have to talk to me <laughs> again. <laughs> you can if you want to. I'm always open, but you don't have to. But for anybody that may have had a hysterectomy or had to make a decision about a hysterectomy. What did you do? And how did you make that decision? And she said... Or if you said, to make the decision. Maybe. She wants to remove... If, if we go that hysterectomy route, she wants to remove the uterus, obviously. What? <laughs> the fallopian tubes, because apparently that's where most cancers start. Okay. Whatever you say. As long as the ovaries stay. And the cervix. Which I was like, I don't, I don't know if I want that removed. So I'm trying to research that. She wants to do it laparoscopically, which just makes like three little holes and they like chopsticks. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. She won't do the mosolation. That's when they chop it up inside and pull it out through those holes because that can spread cancer if you happen to have any. But um, she'll suck it out through the vagina. <laughs> YouTube's going to take it down. Um, so I think think maybe they have to take the cervix if they're going to take it that way. I don't know. I don't know. But she said if you do that, you don't have to have any more pap smears ever again. Yeah. And uh, you won't have any bleeding because if they leave the cervix, there's a chance you could still bleed, which was news to me. But that makes sense once she explained mm -hmm. it. 
but you know, I have worries about like prolapse and, and all stuff, but I've been like doing so much research and people, yeah. you know, you see people who do these other things yeah. and they're like, I feel better, but I have this and I have that, but you know, it's better. Mm-hmm. You see someone who has a hysterectomy, they're like, I feel so amazing. And you could yeah. just like the tone is so like, nobody seems to regret having a hysterectomy except that one woman on YouTube and it's cause she wanted kids, which I get, but I'm done having kids. Yeah. What do I do? Tell me what to do. Just gotta do it. I kind of feel like I need to do it, but you know, like I, I think was... you should wait. I mean, just because holidays, COVID, yeah. there's no rush, and then it gives you two, three, maybe four more periods just to experience <laughs> again and be like, "Yep, <laughs> this sucks." With the mindset of, "I can, I am allowed to have a hysterectomy, so now do I want it?" Because it's different than when you're just theoretically going through your periods like, "This sucks. I wish I had a solution. Ah, oh, this sucks." You know, because then you're not really actually thinking, like, it's this or it's hysterectomy. So now you have a few months to decide. Am I just being a big baby? Should I just suck it up? No, because you would suck it up if you, if it was just as easy as sucking it up. I was trying to jog last night and I was thinking about it and I was like, you know, these are not going to ever get smaller. They're only going to get bigger. So what if they don't? What if I continue to have problems after menopause? What if I make it all the way to, like, menopause? And then I have, like, because they can get so big that they, like, skish your bladder. What if they're skishing my bladder and I end up having a hysterectomy then because I feel they like got you'd, big? You'd be like, I just did 10 years of extra periods that I didn't need that could have gotten a hysterectomy then instead of now. But like, what if, if I that? hit menopause, yeah. like, next year? You won't know if you get it out. <laughs> well, I keep my ovaries, so I would kind of know, because you get to yeah. still go through menopause, hot yeah. flashes and... I don't know. I'm sorry for anyone that didn't care about this, but for anyone that stuck around, I really appreciate it. If you have any advice, any stories, stitching at the cabinet gmail.com. Or As I said before, she doesn't normally Instant check the messages. email, but if you want to only talk to me, just send an email saying I want to talk to or you and I'll give you even I'll email better is Instagram because I don't I don't even think I know to log into Instagram. That you can true. DM I through only Instagram. Instagram. Instant message. I, direct I don't message. Only, but I'm the only Whatever. one of us at Instagrams. Yeah. But if you prefer email, just tell me you want to talk, but not Whatever. do that. And I'll All email the you with my private email, my private, my personal email. All of it's down here. There's a lot down here. There's there. a lot going on down here. <laughs> with that, I think that's it. I think we're done. I think that's it. I think we're done. That was creepy. That was. was kind of we creepy. may or may not be back next week. I always like to leave you just wondering. Dun dun dun! Dun dun dun! Bah, bah, bah. <laughs> okay, goodbye, guys! <laughs>